Okay, I wanted to shoot a quick video because I had a client um, ask me why his email signature, his graphic HTML email signature was showing up in plain text, or maybe for some of you won't show up at all uh, if you install it in, uh, bleh, install it in Outlook the, the right way, um, which is just worrying about the HTML. Um, you won't have a plain text signature unless, uh, let me just cover this quickly, um, go to File options, mail, and then control left click on signatures. And then here you can go to the text version and type in um, a plain text signature if you really want to have one. Um, but uh, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even do it that way. Now this, now this video is not going to be so quick, but um, I just want to cover that. Uh, so you could just do that and then control S to save it and then close it out. And then you have a plain text signature. So if I close this out as well and click OK, and I sent myself a plain text signature uh, or a plain text email from Gmail. And what happens is uh, whatever format you receive your email in, whether it's uh, a plain text that someone sent to you, uh, rich text, which allows like bold and colors and italics and whatever, or HTML, when you reply or forward to that email, it will retain that um, mode or whatever you call it. So if you reply, if I reply to this right now, which I go up here to do, it is going to reply in plain text. And here's that plain text email signature that I just created. Um, one thing you can do uh, to overwrite this feature in Outlook, we're fo focusing on Outlook right now, which I, I kind of uh, poked around in Outlook to see if there was a way that this could be overcome. And yeah, it is, or it can be, but uh, a couple, it takes a couple extra clicks. So let me discard this and start over. And here is the plain text email that I sent myself. So, so there's no HTML, it's just straight up characters, text, okay? And if I click, I'm just going to click on reply here. And then I want to click on pop out. And that gives me some more options. And then I want to go to format text and change it to HTML. Doesn't change anything yet. But now if I go to insert and go down to signature, and this is my, my Outlook SIG test that I use for testing, and click on it, boom! done so now we have the plain text mode beforehand here and i have changed converted it kind of forced it over to html and then inserted the html signature and if it's installed correctly it'll pop up just like this and then i'm going to send it to myself and now i want to see um, I might have to change before I get it. Hopefully, oh shoot, it might be too late. Because um, once you change something, uh, change it to plain text mode in Gmail, it stays like that if you forget to do that. So I just turned that off. And now let's see how it looks. Boom. Done. You get all the blue underlines because Outlook's Outlook, whatever. Uh, but basically, I took a plain text email and I wanted to use my HTML, my graphic HTML email signature in it. And those were the steps. So let's go back into um, Outlook and go through this again. So I have it, have my plain text email, click on reply and uh, pop out, format text, HTML, insert, signature, and whatever you have named your signature that you want to use. And then you can boop, 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 type up whatever you want, and then send away. And that's it. That's how you, um, if you get a plain text email from someone or some company or whatever, and you want to forward or reply to it, and you want to use your HTML email signature, that's how it's done. Now, if the person who's receiving it is in plain text, this is what, what we're looking at here is what they're going to see because that's how they have have their email client settings or their company settings are that way that they can only receive plain text emails. And uh, that's just the way it is. And, and, and they won't be the wiser because that's all they're used to. That's all they've ever gotten. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helps. Have a good day.